Yo, what's up, ER Bros? Tang, I like that name for you guys. I'm gonna start calling you guys ER Bros from now because you guys are part of the family. And if you're not, what are you doing? Click it. It just takes two seconds. But anyways, today is August 1st. You guys know what that means. It's gonna be a reptile room tour. I did make some few changes to my you know, rack over there. So let's go over there and show you guys what I did. Wait, wait, wait. I almost forgot, guys. Check this out. I got a new camera, a Canon G7 Next. Finally, I've been waiting so long for this just so I can make better quality videos for you guys. So look out for that, guys. It's gonna be coming. Okay, ER bro. So here is the reptile rack. I have like, I would say like 14 reptiles, I believe, and amphibians over there. So let's get started from the bottom and we'll go up, all right? So down here, I have my Oklahoma Eastern Color Lizard. This is an aqua flame. His name is Zeus. He is about, well, he just turned one year old, like not too long ago. He's doing really good. And I also just recently changed his light. Um, this is the Reptisun Terrarium Hood, the T5. Uh, but I did want to get the 10 because this one's only 5, I believe. Yeah, so right there it says the 5.0. But the store that I went to didn't have it, so I'm just going to use this for now. In like 6 months, I'll upgrade it to the, the 10.0 because that's the one that he, um, you know, that's recommended for him. But yeah, this guy's a beast. He's eating very well. He always likes to, you know, see what's going on in the room. He's always staring out the little glass here and watching me. Over here it is, is his heat lamp and then this new one that I got him here. He has um, this hide right here with a bunch of rocks on top. A cool hide over there. And then a hide back there under the skull. And then his basking area here. Yeah, there's Zeus. And a lot of you have been commenting like where I got him from. He's actually from my friend Chris Hermosillo. Um, he breeds these guys and he has some really nice adults. Uh, this one's not fully grown yet. He's still going to grow a few more inches. And also he's going to get the really nice yellow head. So, you know, it's getting there. As you can tell on his neck, it's getting a little bit yellow. But he is definitely not full size yet. He still has some growing to do. Um, I'm not sure if Chris will be selling some babies in the future. Uh, I'm pretty sure he will because... I don't think he has space to keep all of them, so go ahead go ahead and check out his channel. His name is Chris Hermesio. I'll also go ahead and put the link in the description so you guys can check him out. And then just ask him, you know, when he's going to be selling them. He also has some crested geckos as well, so. Alright guys, so on to the next one. Actually, right here. Uh, this is just a, um, you know, just a little display with a little, you know, fake uh, tortoise there. But, I am going to be having a surprise for you guys. I'm going to be building something here that wraps around, you know, the back of this as well because I do have some space back there. And I'm going to the Pomona Reptile Expo. Um, when is it? Let me see. Okay, so the show is on August 12th in Pomona, California. Um, I am going to be going on Saturday morning with my friend Chris as well. And I am going to be picking up something there. So. You know, look out for that, guys. I'm really excited to do this, and I'm, I'm going to be starting building this, like, next week. So, this is going away, and, you know, something is coming soon. Alright, so, next up is my, well, are my leopard geckos. I have a full rack here of my leopard geckos, so let's go ahead and see what they're up to. Okay, so here are my two female leopard geckos. This is Winter, and that is Space over there. Uh, they are my two youngest leopard geckos, and I am going to be switching them out. Like, I'm going to be putting them in their own in tank. So, this is what I have so far. I have my hot hide. This is a moist slash cool hide. Calcium, food dish, and then their water. And then they do have a heat pad under here. So, yeah, these are my two female leopard geckos. And then they are in this half... Well, I'm not sure what this is called, but like it's like a half... A 10 gallon tank because this is this is the length of a 10 gallon but then it's like half the size of it so I got this at a reptile island here next to my house because I've been getting a lot of comments of where to where I got this tank from so reptile island I'm not sure if they have a website you can try to check them out uh, but yeah it's here there's one in Stanton California and your Belinda California oh I also forgot to tell you guys that I kind of switched up the um, racks here um, this this rack used to be down here, and then the leopard gecko used to be at the very bottom. I kind of prefer it like this because in this way I can see the leopard geckos because they're not at the very bottom anymore, and this is now you know eye level to me. So 
you know, I really like this this way better. And then also my leopard geckos are in the middle here, so it's not um you know up here where you know the light is beaming on them. So this is kind of a little bit dark for them. Um, all right, so these are my two female leopard geckos. Uh, this one is my normal, and I believe this one is a bandit. Um, this one is M&M's, and this one is Skittles. Let me um, take Skittles out so you guys can see. This one's like really nice. Oh, they're both shedding right now. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but they are both shedding. And then Skittles as well. You should be in there, right, too. So they can help shed and the moist hide. But yeah, they have the same tank set up here. And I am going to be, like I said, I'm going to be putting them in their own tanks. But for now, I just have them together because they are females. And then they are doing perfectly fine. They don't fight or bully each other. And then they're eating perfectly fine. So I've just been keeping them in here for now until I can get some new tanks for them. Oh, and by the way, we just went herping in Palm Springs with my friend Chris. Uh, we were we were looking for some wild colored lizards and also some horned lizards. Those are really nice. Be sure you guys check that video out. I'm gonna be posting that video, I believe, in by tomorrow or the next day. I just have to edit it. It's kind of it's gonna be a long video, but it's gonna be um, you know really cool. I also vlogged what we did over there, so be sure you guys check that out and then to see like what we caught over there. All right, so here are my two female Tremper albino leopard geckos. Um, they are one of my best eaters here in my room tour. So this one is Houdini because she always escapes. Like you can put a, like five locks on this tank and she'll escape somehow. <laughs> no, but in the in the past she she has escaped a few times. Like I would say like three times she's escaped in the past. Um, I didn't have him in this rack. I had him in something different, but she she managed to get out somehow. All right, so um, I don't really want to bug this one, but uh, this is my hot hide over here. They have a big heat pad here. Um, they have basically the same setup. Everybody has the same setup. And then, um, okay, I'm just gonna move this one a little bit so you can check out uh, this one. Okay, so this one, the one with the, that didn't have a name, and I asked you guys in my previous video to name this one. So I finally found the name. Um, there was a lot of comments with the name Banana, so meet Banana. <laughs> she kind of does look like a banana. Banana cake. Now nah, I'm gonna stick with Banana, so this is Houdini and Banana over there. Okay, so next up is Spongebob. Uh, this is my first leopard gecko, he's the OG. And probably one of my favorite reptiles here because he was just my first one. Uh, he's like really fat and he loves to eat. I've been trying to get him on a diet um, as meaning like feeding him a little bit less and Yeah, this is Spongebob same and same um, tank set up here. He's doing really well And then he is a little bit different from the other leopard geckos because uh, This is a male and he's a super giant as you can tell how big he is. He's huge and my hand is pretty big Okay, next up is marshmallow uh, This is a well, guys, I still don't know. Is this a female or a male? Like, the I got this one from the Pomona Expo uh, two years ago, and I'm still not sure. Like, I'm not sure if, if uh, he got winter pregnant or if she just laid, like, an infertile egg. Um, but let me try to turn her around so you guys can help me out to see if this one's a male or a female. Okay, guys, what do you guys think? Is this a male or a female? Um, I believe it's a male because you guys can see the little two bumps there. So I'm, I'm thinking it's a male. Um, so comment down below. Say marshmallow is a male or a female. So I can see, um, so I can get some help. And also why I'm asking that is because at the expo, the breeders told me that this is a female. And it was full size, full size grown already. So um, yeah, I don't know what it is. So help me out guys. Okay, so we covered the bottom rack, uh, the next rack, and then that we covered marshmallow. Uh, this is an empty tank here. I want to get a scorpion at the expo, so maybe um, I'll put some eco earth in there and you know get the scorpion in there. So maybe I'm still thinking about it. 
Uh, this is my beta fish, name is Fireball. Uh, but we're gonna stick just to reptiles and amphibians. So let's go ahead and move to my only amphibians, which are the newts here. Um, so there they are, I have a total of three. Uh, there is two right there. And the third, the third one, let's see if we find it because the third one always hides from the camera. I can never find it on video. Uh, let's see. I think I already see it. So let me see if you guys can tell. He is right there. But yeah, I call them the three musketeers. That is the three names for them. Um, I have been wanting to, you know, upgrade this tank. Either get him a bigger one, or, or and uh, make it half land and half water and add some plants so it'll make it really nice instead of just having the rock there so i want to be doing that soon by the end of summer so i just have a lot of projects that i need to be working on so yeah these are my newts here and i also need to clean their tank out the plants have been doing a good job with cleaning this but yeah it's, it's time for a clean up here Okay, and right next to it, I have my pride and joy right here, my Exoterra tank. Um, this is the live aquarium that I built with my friend Chris. I'm still like in shock to see like how this came out. Like it's so nice. Like every day, I just spend a few minutes watching this and looking like what he's doing in there. I um, in here I have my crested gecko. His name is Spider Man, and he's at the very top corner over there. Let me try to zoom in into him. This camera zooms in so slow. But yeah, there is Spider-Man up there. If you guys want to see a better picture of him, I do post on my Instagram. It's also called ER Brills on Instagram. And I want to do a little thing here. If you guys go on my Instagram and like one of my reptile pictures, comment, you know, I'm um, from ER Brills or anything related to YouTube so I know who where you're from um, I am gonna be shouting you out in my next videos so from now on if you go on my Instagram on ER Brills comments on one of my reptile pictures I'm, I'll shout you out on one of my videos but I'm only gonna be picking one because I'm not gonna be shouting out too many people so one shout out per video but yeah guys this tank is doing really well um, especially this plant right here. I got it from Home Depot, but it's like growing like way too fast I might be I might need to trim it pretty soon um, But it's like I should have got like the tank that this is an 18 by 18 by 18 I should have got the tank that was a little bit taller, but oh well um, It's still doing really good. This plant is not I mean it's kind of drying down a little bit I mean these green ones are these green plants are doing good, but this used to be this, like red But now it's kind of like drying out, but You know, we'll see I do want to add some more plants on here and also some moss or some kind of like grass or plants from the bottom of it so if you guys know your plants comment some plants that I can add to this because it's looking kind of like you know I feel like it needs more plants for him to hide and stuff but yeah he likes to spend his day up there hiding and then at nighttime he's always walking through here walking in the front of the glass and he's very active at nighttime so uh, maybe I should do a video of him in the night so you guys can see him And last thing for this tank I have a Tutorial on how to build this you know go step by step You know starting off with just the tank so if you want to check that out go ahead and look through my videos so Yeah, the last one is here. I think I covered everyone so this is the last one here These are the baby crested geckos from my friend Chris man. I'm mentioning Chris a lot that means you guys gotta go check him out but yeah the he had like seven babies so i just took i'm taking care of two of them in here uh, i'm not sure if we'll be able to see them because they are very small and they are hiding between these plants these are some live plants here and then these are the um uh these are fake and these plants are able to stay alive because of these led lights um so these are color changing led lights on my last reptile room tour you guys were like saying oh the flashing lights are bad for the crested gecko but i don't have it flashing like all day or at all i just change the colors from the morning i start off with this one and then i'll change it to blue and then at nighttime, well like 
you know, in the evening time, I'll change it to red, and at night, I'll just turn it off. But, you know, I don't have it on this mode right here, which you guys all think, uh, flash. I do not have it like that at all. I would just stick to one color. So, yeah. But yeah, these LED lights are super nice, and then they go down and keep these plants nice and good. All right, where are, where are these baby crested geckos? These are also the these are also the babies, or I would say brothers for Spider-Man because they have the same parents. Um, let me put the camera down and let me look for them, guys. One moment. Okay, guys, let me do this quick because I don't want to handle them for too long. Uh, but this is one of the babies here. There is two in there. Um, Chris has a total of seven, and he is selling these. Uh, once they get a little bit bigger or I think you might be selling them now So if you are a local to Southern California, be sure to hit them up. So oh, you're going up my arm um, So you guys can get some but yeah, they're really nice babies and healthy. So um, hit up Chris so you guys can buy some Go jump All right now he's gone forever And then I have an empty 20 gallon tank up here as well um, I am well first I don't want to get anything up there yet until I finally um, build this one and then uh, the project that I want to do down there as well so I want to get these um, enclosures finished with before I start getting you know more reptiles and stuff so once I get all this completed then yeah I'll go ahead and get something in there so if you have any suggestions comment below I've got some like frill dragons but I can't get a frill dragon because this is not this is, this is not the tank that's for a Frill Dragon. Uh, maybe a Bearded Dragon, but it would have to be like a white one because I want something like rare. Uh, but yeah, help me out with some reptiles below. And that sums up my reptile room tour, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And also, if you guys do see me at the Reptile Expo, which I'm going Saturday morning, come up to me. I want to meet you guys. Don't be shy. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.